Hi, I'm Gene. In our last video, I installed these doors behind me, the windows, some of the siding, and a little bit of the trim. Well, in this next video, I'm going to install the ceiling in the porch. I'm going to put in some corner pieces in the support posts and maybe do some lighting and then on top of that I'm going to build a copla up on the roof. What's a copla? And I'm not sure I'm even saying that right. It's like a weather vane. It's pretty cool. So let's get started. So now I'm just going to install some decorative lighting over here. Okay, so now I want to start putting the uh, ceiling or some panels up here to finish off the top of the porch a little bit. What I'm going to use is some wood siding that I picked up at Lowe's that has grooves in it every few inches. It's only about three-eighths thick, but it should work perfectly for doing the ceiling. Now the ceiling needs to be cut at 46 inches and it's basically 18 feet long. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-cut my panels close and then put a coat of stain on them. I'm going to use Valspar semi-transparent stain. I used this on another project and I love the color. So before I start setting the panels up here, for my own sake, I'm going to make a note or some marks so I can see where those studs are along here so I'll know where to, to nail from. So I'm going to make some quick markings just so I can find where everything's going to go. So I'm going to take this. Now I have to say, I thought this, setting these panels up, there would be a piece of cake. This turned out to be one of the most awkward parts of this project. I could have really used an extra set of hands on this. I really battled it, trying to work and trim around those posts, and then single-handedly trying to pick up these panels, hold them in place while I got things na nailed up. Not fun. Well, it looks like, for the most part, I've got the trim 
and the sealing part now done, I'm starting to really feel good about how the, the shop has turned out. Right now what I want to start on is making some decorative like support style columns that go at the top of the posts under the porch. And I'm going to use some of the drop off 2x6s from the roof joists. I'm using this a woodworking compass that I made a while back and I sure like this thing. It really comes in handy. Okay, so there's my two that I think I can cut from there, and I think I'm going to use a jigsaw on this. Basically, I laid out for two, but I'm really only going to need one of these. Okay, so I think that's going to work, so I'm going to go ahead and cut one of these out and get it going. You know, I'm going to add to these curves a couple of blocks, and I'm going to use not only wood glue, but some CVA glue. This will help to allow me to handle the wood so it'll stay together while I can keep working and the wood glue dries. board will be the top, this will be the sides. I'm going to come in basically an inch up on this. And I want the wood grain to run downward. Center. Got pretty close with that. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little glue on both of these. And we'll set this back here again, like that. Okay, well, here's my first one. I think that's gonna look pretty cool. I like it, and it gives me enough room for mounting it. Okay, these are gonna these are gonna work out just fine.
stain on them, move to the next part. Okay, I've let these dry overnight and I think we're ready to start installing these. take this piece of PVC it's an inch and a half by quarter inch thin PVC and I've sprayed it kind of a bronze tone and I'm going to wrap this around underneath the support pieces that I just built to kind of give it that iron look so let's see how that works And then I'm, I'm going to just, just score the back of this a little bit. Like that. Now I'm going to bring it back over. throw a little heat on this. And I'm going to overbend it just a touch because it'd be easier to open it up than have it not opened far enough, if that makes sense. All right, that should work. This should be able to just slide right over the posts, and then I'll put it back on that. So now I only need to build three or two more of these.
So one of the final projects on this build is building that cupola or the weather vane. This part I was one of the most excited to get started on but I had absolutely no clue of what I was doing. Well, much like this whole project. But anyway, I started out by building the base piece that sits up on top of the roof. So getting the pitch and the angle of that roof just right took a little time. I made a rough template and then I transferred that and cut this out. And once I had that cut out and the jigsaw just around that top piece off, now I took it up and tested it. it. Needs a little bit more, so I come back down, trim out that adjustment, and head back up and make sure that fits. This time it's right. After I've got the angles set up right, I'm going to trim those off to be the same and then build the side pieces of this. Now this is fairly easy, you're basically just building a four-sided box, but once I had it together, I wanted to trim those two sides on that same angle. Very simple, but it's something you got to keep in mind. I'm going to take it up and test it. Yep, looks like it's going to work fine. I'm going to start working on some of the trim that goes around the edges of this that makes the louvered part of this. Okay, I put a second coat on this last night, so this part's pretty well ready to go. Now I need to put 
some metal on this roof. Now, I did a terrible job at putting this roof together. My calculations and everything were way off, but I think I can hide 90% of that with metal. So I still have some metal left over from another job and this 30 inch break that I modified, and that's gonna help me to put together the metal roof. Let's get started. top of this up, or the bottom, the base of this, and set it in its place.
So now, before I set the roof on there, I took some hurricane ties and flattened these out. I'm going to set them up in the inside corners, which will give me something to connect the roof to without showing any screws or anything. You notice I'm moving slower each time I go down? I'm going to install the simple roof vents that I picked up at Lowe's to uh, set in all the way around. I'm just using that on my iPhone to give me an idea of where that is. And once I have my north direction, I can now bolt down the weather vane in the proper setting. I'm going to use some caulking, some all-purpose silicone caulking, and I'm going to caulk up around the tip of this so that it does not... Okay, so now doing the cupola, I think I said that right, up on top, adding some of the supports and straps for decoration, and even adding like porch lights to this. I think all in all, it's pretty well done on the outside. Now I gotta move to the inside. But in the meantime, I'm really pretty excited with that, how this turned out. So if you have any questions, comments, put them down in the comment section down below. And in the meantime, I'll see you soon.